Good morning, everybody. Wayne Bolden at the Speed King Channel. It's Saturday morning, my favorite day of the week to sit here on early on a Saturday morning, coffee with the Speed King. Please remember to turn your closed captions on. It's very, very important to us that that is done. And remember, a shout out to all our ladies. To uh, This month, October, is uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And I've been uh, well in on this that we make sure we get the message out. And of course, they know, but it's always nice to hear again. Please get your screenings and your mammograms. I have sisters and daughters and cousins. So all you classy ladies, handle your business. Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Very, very important for sure. And in about 13 days from Breeders' Cup. Right? Oh, it's going to be a great weekend for us as race fans. And remember, our tip sheets are available. Just email me at speedking24 at yahoo.com. They're $20 per day. Great way to support us. Well, we're going to be taking a look at the, Mil uh, Mer uh, the Maryland Million over there at beautiful Laurel in Maryland City. Uh, it is uh, race number 11 on the card for three-year-olds and up for 150000 A full field of uh, 13, but the number 12 and 13 are on the AE. So we're going to give you our top three, and we're going to dive right into our first horse that we love. I really like the number three, Double Crown at 9 to 2. Right, trained by Norm Cash for sure. Five wins from 22 starts, eight seconds, and one third. I mean, this is a very nice five year old gelding. A bit of a hanger ran uh, second eight times, but the price is square here. The horse shouldn't lose any ground breaking from the three hole. And I just absolutely love the pace numbers on the number three double crown. This horse comes out of the Polynesian Stake Race over there at Pimico a quarter mile ago, or September 24th, and ran second uh, by seven lengths. And it was a very, very decent race back in 28 days. I had a workout or two here or there. And I think this horse may be sitting on go-go, okay? So, again, I like the number three horse. Going to be our top pick here, double crown for sure. And we're going to go way outside to our second pick here. This horse, I mean, I didn't know. The pace numbers are fantastic on this, on the number nine horse. Uh, our nation on our nation on parade number nine our nation on parade jamie ness has his horse so we always pay attention to his horses he's clicking at 27 percent he has rodriguez in the arm together they're 26 percent and this is a former claimer the number nine um our nation on parade now horses don't read they just run but it is amazing how mr ness can take these here claimers and move them up i mean this horse is running in the uh, maryland million classic right i mean not to get the name confused with the purse it's only 150,000. but again he claimed this horse um from brook uh from brooke henderson uh, some 24 days ago, and the horse was already riding a three or four game winning streak for sure. Now, Mr. Ness rolls this horse back into the, uh, the Million Classic and appears to be the speed in the race. So, and he's five to two on the morning line. So, I, I mean, I don't know, man. Um, Again, but the, he has the speed figures. Now, again, this is where I differ from a lot of people, or at least sheet readers do. Uh, the horse is a claimer. That's how people, you know, people handicap in, in, in the past going against some pretty decent stake horses. But the horse's pace figures and speed figures are one of the best in the field. So, again, and Jamie Ness moves them, move them up. So the horse is back in 24 days, first time under uh, Jamie's toolage. Got his boy Rodriguez, and the horse is five to two, and he appears to be the speed. So the number nine horse to me uh, has every right to try to go gate to wire. And I don't think he's going to get in front of the number eleven horse uh, out there Monday morning QB. Uh, but it will allow the number nine Our Nation on Parade to sit second behind a horse who I think is kind of uh, the speed of fate. So the number nine. Uh, our nation on parade, on parade, Jamie Ness will be our second pick in here for sure. Got a big, big chance, I believe. And the number five horse, listen to this name, Ain't That Beer Cold. Six to one on the morning line. That's not bad. And, uh, you know, I mean, the horse's speed figures are okay in this here spot for sure. Uh, coming out of an allowance race, riding a two-game winning streak. Uh, by Freedom Child has won five of 20 starts in four seconds. Ken, uh, 
Cox is doing the training. You got Sheldon Russell in the yards. So I'm not mad at you if you like the number five. He's going to be our third pick for sure in here. And if we were to round out our uh, superfecta here, we would probably go right to the number six horse. That's right. The number six horse has a very even pace figures around the track. This five-year-old only has five, uh, four wins from 30 starts, six seconds and five thirds. Now that bodes well here if you're playing supers and tries. I would only use the number six horse in the third or fourth spot here. Could round out for a nice um, uh, try or super for sure. Only eight to one on the morning line. So in this year's Merlin Million, yeah, for me, it's quite easy. I mean, I just love Double Crown. think the horse has a big shot. It's going to be our first pick to number three. So for us, it's going to be three, nine, five in that order. And we'll round out our super in the fourth spot with the six. So three, nine, five, six, just like that. Merlin Million, 11th race today, Saturday in beautiful Merlin City for Laurel. All right. A lot of stake races. We may do one or two more just so we can say we at least touched the track on their big day. Okay? Uh, the classic, Maryland Million, three, nine, five, six. Just like that for your speaking here in the studio. Enjoy your Saturday, two weeks away from the Breeders' Cup. Make sure you get your tip sheets. Email me, speaking24 at yahoo.com. Shout out again to my boy, Rob Raglan. I'm going to get those Santa Anita sheets out to you today, Robbie, for sure.